Good morning. Thanks for joining me. Let's enjoy this day out looking for the red kite. The previous evening I saw a feature on the local news of how years ago the red kite had been reintroduced into the northeast of England. These magnificent birds of prey, wingspans up to two metres, an amazing colouring, were mentioned as being prolific around the Derwinton Valley region. So I must see them, I must try and find them. Less than 50 mile away these birds were there for all to see. How would I go about finding them? The clues in the news feature showed a viaduct, showed the region. So I fired up Google Earth, zoomed in, did a search for viaducts in the Derwent Valley and narrowed it down. The Nine Arches Viaduct was to be my initial target, but that would change later in the trip. Sit back, get yourself a cuppa, relax and enjoy my day as I searched and found the red kite. Thanks for watching.
the reconnaissance of the Nine Arches viaduct was complete. A high wind flight and local knowledge shared by one of the founder members of the Friends of the Red Kite Society led me to move to another location. So it was time to fly back land take some photos of some lovely horses had passed on the way to the site and set about trying to find this new location I moved on to Thornley Woodland Centre in the heart of the Derwent Walk Country Park. Super cafe, super service, great bacon sandwich and a cuppa. And I met Harold Dobson, secretary of the Friends of Red Kites in the northeast of England. What a helpful chap. He'd previously been seen on the northeast news, local Tyne Tees news, talking about red kites in the Derwent Valley. What an ambassador for the Friends of Red Kites organisation. A mine of information and local knowledge as well as meeting Harold there was lots of information, leaflets to pick up and keep, brochures, even photo albums of the Red Kites. So I would thoroughly recommend visiting the cafe at the Thornley car park. It was Harold that put me on to another location for viewing the red kites and after he'd drawn me a lovely map and we had a, a long conversation about red kites after after that I travelled to the new location <laughs> in a roundabout way I guess I discovered many paths some dead end and I eventually arrived at my second and final location for the day another viaduct this time 
steep steps forgetting my main camera so any subsequent filming is just on my Sony Handycam but it's given me as discussed with Harold when I spoke to him later it's given me a good reason to return <laughs> thanks Harold your local knowledge and sharing it was absolutely invaluable I can't thank you enough for enabling me
Yeah. What a So I'll just get a feel for it today. I saw it on the news. Alright. Yeah. And I looked on Google Earth. Yeah. And figured out where it was. Yes. And that's it. Very good. It's just top of the woods at the back here. Top of the woods. Top of the woods. Yeah. That's top of the woods. It's a lovely walk through there. Like there's ten. I can walk here. I'm just down here. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Oh, it's got the middle spot. It's got the middle spot. Yeah. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, and you. Thank you.